I wanted to meet you. To repeat my forgiveness to you in person. I have forgiven you. Sincerely. This way, please, hold it. Look over here, please. This way. Please, that's enough. Thank you. That's enough. Why didn't you die? I know my aim is perfect. I knew that that bullet would have been fatal. So why didn't you die? Perhaps. Because someone protected me. <laughs> Perhaps. You mean Fatima? Precisely. But Fatima was the Prophet Muhammad's daughter. There's another Fatima. But the mother of Christ appeared. And the day I shot at you was your feast day. Yes, it was. That's why I'm sure it was the Madonna of Fatima that who saved my life. If the Lady Fatima has that much power, she'll come after me now. No. She'll kill me. No. Mary is the mother of God. She loves everyone. And many Muslims honor her. So she won't punish me? No, on the contrary, she will help you to change your life. He's dying, Your Holiness. If they're able to speak, we ask them their names and their religion. So that we can bury them according to their faith. What's his name? Jairaj. He's a Hindu. Jairaj. May God, who lives in your heart, welcome you into his arms. <laughs> and his peace. Uh... No. We don't ask where they come from. We simply try to help them, comfort them, and show some humanity. You know what? If I could, I'd rather stay here as Pope. Thank you. We'll open a house of charity in the Vatican too. I promise. For the homeless. Or the hopeless. The homeless in the Pope's home. Holy Father. They killed Father Populushko. They threatened him. They even beat him and tried to blackmail him, but he never gave in. Oh, 
no possibility of dialogue with a union whose aim is to undermine the core of socialist state at a time of grave economic crisis. But you must believe me when I say that my greatest desire is pacification. That peace can only exist where citizens participate in public affairs, in a climate of true freedom, where all rights are protected. You know very well that even Gorbachev speaks of his faith in reason, liberty, and man's basic morality. We are on opposite fronts, you and I. But we are patriots. And we must combine our forces for the reconstruction of our country. Come to Poland. Will you allow me to visit Gdańsk? Gdańsk is a powder keg. It is hand in glove with Solidarność. It is on the side of conflict and hatred. In Gdańsk, I will tell the Polish people that they can rebuild their society by freeing themselves from hatred, violence, and selfishness. Only by rejecting the vision of Only the world. Only by rejecting the, the vision of the world as a place where God is an invention and love a weakness. Here, on the shores of the Baltic Sea, I repeat that name Solidarity! myself. Does the fall of communism mean the end of poverty and injustice? Does it mean the end of violence? What effect has capitalism had on the third world? Has war disappeared? Before a real revolution comes about in society, there has to be a revolution in men's hearts. No one can find happiness alone. No man can be an island, sheltered from storms. It is men's hearts that must change. 